Hey guys, happy Saturday part two. I almost said happy Sunday. For some reason it feels like Sunday. Um, anyway, I shot my last vlog and I've kind of made a commitment that I'm keeping all of my videos under, trying to get right under 10 minutes. Um, so that it's easier for you to, to digest what I'm saying and it maybe keeps me a little bit on point. Um, so the, sh the first video I shot um, earlier, uh, a few seconds ago, um, I said I was going to talk about some of the products that you guys have asked me about, and then I was going to make my point. Well, I kind of talked for 10 minutes about some products, um, and in case you didn't watch that, you know, I talked about the DMX Sky, because you guys have asked what my recommendation is and what my favorite, um, most versatile shoes from Reebok so far. I gave a little preview of uh, the Verizon, it's not really a Verizon product, it's a Samsung the new Galaxy camera that I just got um, that shoots video and photos and it's voice activated and it automatically so you take all you know you take your content and it shoots it directly to YouTube Facebook Twitter um, any of your other cell phones etc so I'm really liking that and I can't wait to dive in and figure that out or have somebody figure it out for me because you know how impatient I get I also gave a brief preview of the cool stuff that uh, Gaspari, the folks at Gaspari sent me. So a lot of stuff, some of this stuff is what Michael will use, some of this is what I will use. Um, but again, we've got recovery. This is more something for Michael. And, and I brought, Michael has some of the products, so we'll, we'll go through like what, what he uses to be, you know, big, masculine, muscular dude, and what I use to be badass, fierce, tightly, muscular, whatever you want to call me, douchebag. Um, they also sent me protein powder, but I'm excited about some of these, um, to taste these. So that's chocolate. The other one's cookies and cream. And then this other one is, um, peanut butter cookie dough. And they all have less than five grams of carbs, which will make Mr. Michael very happy. The other thing is too, so here was the point that I wanted to make. Um, I got into the middle of my workout this morning and, um, I'm sharing with you guys whenever I have annoying things happen because... As I shared on my Facebook page, I was, I, was, I was saying how, oh my gosh, I've had a really upsetting day. I got on the scale. The scale told me that I'd gained weight, like two pounds in a day, which we all know is, is unrealistic, but the scale can vary. And so even though I was upset, this is what I put on my Facebook page and I put on my blog, kellyalexa.com. I said, you know, I was upset that day. And then I was like, Instead of getting down, I'm going to take my measurements. And I took my measurements and compared my measurements to, you know, at the very beginning. And, and I looked at all of the inches that I had lost. So here I was focusing on this number on the scale. And, and I know I shouldn't because that's the good thing about weighing yourself regularly. You can see those fluctuations and know that sometimes, you know, whether it's that time of the month or whatever, you can go way up, you can come right back down. As long as it, the, the overall pattern is that you're moving towards your goal, but it really keeps you in mind. So here's the thing. So I put that up and a lot of you guys had written to me and said, really more women, sorry, had written to me and said, thank you for putting that up. I've been so depressed. I thought nothing was working. You know, I'm just getting on the scale. The scale's showing nothing. If I'm just going to tell you this. If I was only going by what the scale said, I would have probably thrown in the towel uh, in January, and and Michael knows that I said this to him several times. I was like, I this is the most depressing thing. It's so depressing to be working this hard, be doing this good, and I'm the, I'm at the same results that I was back when I wasn't trying and doing anything. How can that happen? Well, <laughs> the scale is just a nasty bitch. So I'm just gonna tell you, this week, and I don't know if that's when I put my stats up on Facebook. Maybe it was not. I'm not I don't know when it was, but in the course of two days, the scale went from 140 to 144. Okay, I know that I didn't, you know what the mathematics are. People will say, to gain a pound is 3,500 calories. So did I, to gain four pounds, have uh, 14,000 extra calories in two days? I know, <laughs> I'm still eating the same things. Did I have maybe a few extra almonds? Could I say that? Yes, but here's the thing. As I got up this morning, I got on the scale, it was down. So it was back down uh, to 143. Now, we don't know why it was that in two days the scale went up two pounds. It could be because I was on antibiotics, something, um, because I was definitely walking around before I weighed myself. I was, I was walking around going, why am I so bloated? I felt bloated, you know, whatever. So I don't know if it's, you know, the antibiotics or if it's just a fluctuation on the scale. What I do know is that what the scale is saying versus what I see in the mirror 
they're not marrying each other. In other words, when I look in the mirror, I see myself getting better and better and better. And when I see that on the scale, that doesn't match what I see. So number one, I have to choose to go, okay, <laughs> don't get all excited about that and frustrated, but it is. It is in some way you could look at that as a step back. You could look at that as a little bit of a failure. Now, what you can do is take that instead of doing what someone like me, and I'm sure many of you have done in the past, which is you get on the scale, and maybe you've been doing really good, and, and the scale's on its way, and you've been losing you know, half a pound a week or a pound a week, whatever it is, and then all of a sudden, boom, you know, you're up three pounds or whatever. You could look at that and go, screw it, forget it, this is never gonna work. Okay, do you know how many times I did that? Maybe not necessarily even weighing myself, but you know, kind of being really strict and then putting my jeans on and going, oh my God, oh my God, I am so, this is disgusting, I'm never gonna get anywhere, forget it. Giordano's, yes, I'd like a medium-sized pizza. No, nope, make that a large. Okay, you can look, you can take your, your failure, okay, and I'm using that term just very simply. It's not really a failure, it's just, you know, maybe a sidestep. <laughs> whether you really did something to cause the scale to go up or whether it is just a fluctuation and it's frustrating you. Let's just call it a failure. You can use that failure to push you and, and make you quit, which so many of us have done. I, I have done that. Or you can use that failure and use it as fuel. And that's what I choose to do now because when I see something like that, you know, I always text Michael my, my stats or whatever, and you know, he'll say, okay, we're gonna work on this, we're gonna mix up your cardio, we're gonna blah, blah, blah. Thing is, I am not going to let that stop me. I am not going to let that, I view that as like the devil who's trying to get me to quit. Screw that, you know what it's gonna make me do? I'm gonna use that, the fact that I am pissed off about whatever it is that made that scale piss me off for two days. I am going to use that as fuel to make my workouts better, and I'm freaking gonna use that to get better because the more that I, you know, he and I were talking about this and we were like, oh, well, you know, look at, like I said in one of my last vlogs, look at the first two weeks of April. You know, I had my birthday celebration and, and that was kind of like a, a cheat meal on, on Saturday and it's some, you know, cheat meal on Sunday. There were a couple of missed workouts there, here and there. Be willing to look at yourself with reality glasses, okay? So am I saying that I could have done something that maybe made the scale go up? Could it be just like a fluctuation? Absolutely. Am I looking at myself in the mirror going, oh, see? No, I'm looking at myself in the mirror and I'm damn proud. I put on clothes and they're so loose on me right now and I still have a ways to go, okay? So I just wanna let you know, I don't wanna, I'm not getting too cocky. I am making kick-ass progress. The scale is one indicator, one indicator of, of my success, okay? Everything that you wanna do is up here. What, what you decide to do tomorrow and the next week, it's all about, I'm gonna say this again and again, it's your mind. Because when you get on that scale and you don't like what you see, and you see something like a four pound gain on the scale in two days, your mind is the one that's going to convince you to go that way, which is, I'm gonna give up, I'm gonna order pizza, I'm gonna do nothing this weekend and get sad and feel bad about myself, or your mind is gonna push you and go, screw that, let me get my shoes on, and you know what, I'm gonna burn 550 calories today, and then I'm gonna see what I can do better. And instead of looking at, you know, as I've been looking at like the last two weeks, or maybe, you know, let's look at what we did well the first quarter and, and what we can do better this quarter, instead of getting frustrated and angry at yourself like, wow, you know, I really didn't do this, or wow, gosh, I really let my weight training slide in, in um, March. You know, recognize it, but don't kill yourself over it. Look at everything. Everything that you've done as a screw up or everything that you failed to do is an opportunity. It's only really a failure if you give in and quit. Okay, so if, if, I, if I didn't do well, and then I saw weight gain on the scale, and, and then I just threw in the towel and gave up, that's when I fail, is when I, is when I quit. But if I look at that and go, okay, it's kind of like all of you football geeks or sports geeks that watch ESPN all day, every day, and they sit there relentlessly talking about, you know, what did we do wrong? What about this guy? How about, you know, what's next year looking like? I mean, how much time can you spend talking about one football game? I don't know, but all I'm saying is I'm looking at this as number one, it pissed me off, but instead of t letting it piss me off and then ruin things, I'm saying, okay, first of all, 
I'm going to take how pissed off I am and put that into my workout. And you can damn well bet that instead of getting on the scale, when was it that I saw that it was probably Thursday. So Wednesday it was up two pounds and the next day it was up another two pounds. And I texted Michael, I'm like, am I like sleep eating or something? What is going on? But instead of going, screw it, forget it, it's the weekend, you know what, I'm just going to take it. This is what I did the past two years. And I know it makes no sense. I'd go, well, forget it. You know what? I'm just going to enjoy this weekend. And I'm going to spend time with Michael on Friday. And then I'm going to hang out. I'm probably going to take it easy. Maybe get a massage. Maybe my body just needs a break. And I'll just, you know, enjoy Saturday and sleep in. So basically, you know, take potentially what damage might have caused that. Even if it's not a strict causation, it might just be a correlation, you know, with the fluctuation in the weight. Sometimes the fluctuation in the weight just happens. Sometimes it just happens. Um, you can make it worse or you can make it better. I'm choosing to say, screw that. I am stopping that kind of action and using this as an opportunity to figure out what I can do better. And I'm not going to just do it a little better. I'm going to do it a lot better. And now I need to shut up because I've done 11 minutes. So what I will do better will be in the next vlog that you'll see shortly.